So I've spent the last couple days working on this uh, design. I was kind of inspired by the original Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites Skrillex cover. It's maybe one of my favorite. And I did sort of my version of it. That whole process reminded me of how much really goes into making something like this. And so I wanted to make a video about my entire process and how I designed this cover entirely in Blender. So always before I actually get into the making the design, there's a lot of pre-prep uh, that I do so that the design process is a lot smoother. So step one is actually really knowing what vibe I want to get. And so that is really done in uh, Pinterest for the most part. So I created a Pinterest board with a lot of things though. I'm, so I'm thinking of, you know, skies, composition, uh, materials, rocks, different things like that, aesthetic things that really will help me in the sketching phase to really know what I actually want. So once that Pinterest board was made, I was able to really know what I want, what shapes I wanted and what inspiration I want to pull. And I created this sketch. So that's the sketch. Not that great. It, but this is what most of my sketches in college looked like, uh, but it was just enough to have a reference. Now, as I'm designing this, uh, there's something that I really have to think about, which is in the modern era, album covers are not just the square that they used to always be. Now the album cover is really used as this kind of hero image that is used all over social media, the, uh, the you know, the tour announcement and um, Instagram stories and banners and billboards where you really have to think about this design as this multi, you know, dimensional thing where it's not just a square, but it needs to be tall, it can be wide, YouTube thumbnails, everything. How can this design translate to all of those mediums? So if you're working with a client that has a very big marketing budget, they're going to want to pull assets from the design to make a familiar, you know, marketing push. After that, I spent maybe too much time looking for the right font. I kind of knew what the vibe I wanted for and I found this font here on Creative Market. I purchased it and then it was really ready to get into Blender. So the things that I need to do in Blender is design the actual sign that says Skrillex, um, sculpt the rock, um, create a very interesting lighting setup, create the composition, and then be able to render that out in different dimensions uh, for different use cases. And so that's what I'm doing. Now I wanna point out in this video, this is not a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I created this design. It's very much overarching. What was I doing? What was I thinking? If you want the nitty gritty step-by-step -step tutorial of exactly how I created this design, that is on my Patreon right now. Talking about the sculpt, talking about the light linking, everything that I'm about to talk about is on Patreon along with, along with so many other really cool projects. So you can check that out linked in the description. So first thing I did was take that font, kind of extrude it and give it a simple material and then create sort of this metallic metal sign. So I had to create these bolts to kind of bolt it together so that it made kind of ergonomic sense within the scene. I definitely wanted this to be realistic to some degree. The next thing was sculpting the rock and relatively from a technical standpoint was not difficult. It was really the shape that was the most difficult thing to get right so that I can really play with it with the lighting. So sculpt it around and because I used a cube, the unwrapping process was very easy and just threw a dark uh, rock material on there to really match the kind of dark and bright themes that are gonna be in this design. Now, probably the most difficult part of this entire design was the lighting, uh, but thank goodness for light linking. Uh, if you haven't used that in Blender yet, get into it. Again, if you wanna go on Patreon, this is a very light linking heavy design. And so there's a whole video just dedicated to how I did the light linking. So I was able to control the light on the letters and on the rock and the, the background and sort of some of the ambient lighting. And what I really loved was the fact that you have this really harsh dark, um, negative space for the design and the negative space is really great for reformatting it for like wider or taller different aspect ratios. So that's why I love that. Um, but the light linking was great. The lighting really helped it. Um, but having this very cool, minimal, modern style with this really pulled it through from the inspiration I took from the original Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites album cover to sort of my modern rendition of what I would do there. And then, you know, we have that rope kind of holding the, the, the text there and it all comes together to this. 
And then all I have to do now is just re-render it for different, you know, Instagram story formats and Square and YouTube thumbnails and handing that off to the hypothetical client. Of course, this was just a spec job where, where I was inspired by the Skrillex uh, album cover, but that's the whole process. And it was really fun. It was also very challenging. It's been a minute since I've done a album cover design where it was mostly still not really animated that much, but it can be animated, which is one of the great things about making this in Blender and not Photoshop or using AI. You really have the power to pull these assets for other things and animate and have full control. Um, but yeah, that's it. We're done. This was the design. Again, if you want to see the full nitty gritty of exactly how I made every single aspect of this design, that is on my Patreon. Um, really helps support the channel. So if you want to check that out, hit the link in my bio. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I'm a motion graphics channel that teaches Blender. So if you want to check that out, feel free to, and I'll see you in the next one.